I'm going to demo all these functions over here. But first I'm going to demo this OR function in a circuit. In electronic circuitry there is something called an OR gate. That's this guy over here. There's a programmatic equivalent of it within Python. We'll discuss that in a second. First let me show you how the circuit works. I grab this OR gate and I put it right there. And then I grab two switches, one and two. And then I grab this LED. I'll put that there. Now I'll make it look nice. Now I'll connect these guys up. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. Now let me run this. Now in an OR gate, if this line, input line, or this input line, either one of them, has a one on it, which means it's on right now, it's a zero. There's a one on it. This guy's going on. It turns this guy on. The gates, gates go up, the power goes through, and the lights go on. So let's, let's test it. Right now, you've got zeros on both of these inputs. you got a zero coming out of the output of the OR gate. Let's change this to a one. Light goes on. Shut that off. Put the other one on. Light goes on. Either one. doesn't matter. This is an OR gate. If this is on, or this is on, or both of them are on, you're going to get power on the output of your OR gate. Now, in our program, we'll say A equals 0 and B equals 0. Oops, I forgot. From operator, import, star, or underscore, I want to feed A and B into the OR method. Two zeros, I'm going to get a zero, a false, and I do. I'm going to take this guy, I'm going to change this to a one. Now I'll feed him again back into the OR method, and I'll get a one, because this one or this one has to be a one, and it's going to work. All right, let me turn this one into a zero, this into a 1, just to make my point that programmatically they're the same. And I get a 1 again. Now I'm going to take this guy one more time, and now I'm going to feed it two ones into the input of the OR, or as the arguments, and I should get a 1 again. And I do. Now that was the uh, OR function. Now the next thing I want to do is the power function. A equals 3, B equals 2. Next thing I'm going to do is key in the power function and feed it A and 2. It's going to take A, the base, and raise it to the B power. The exponent is B. So this will be 3 to the 2 power, and that's going to give me a 9. And that's what I get, a 9. If I were to change B to a 3, I'm going to get 27 now. 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27. Now, how convenient. A is equal to 3 and B is equal to 3. These guys have the same values. So I have a question. Uh, I'm going to answer with a function from the operator module. Is A and B the same same? Are they the same same? And I get true. Well, how are they the same same? Aren't they separate variables? Yes, they are, but... Take a look at what they're pointing to. They are pointing to the same location in memory. 154722 same number here. These guys are pointing, A and B are pointing to the same value 3 in memory. A is B, essentially. But now I'm going to throw a monkey wrench into the engine. Here we go, A equals 4. Now A is 4, B is 3. Is not is A not equal to B? Ooh. Are these guys the same? Ah, they're not the same. A is not B. That's true. A is not B. What is in A and B? Four and three, respectively. Wow. What is the ID of A and the ID of B? They are different. 648, 632, they pointed to different locations in memory. A is not B, as you can see. Now what I'm going to do is set a list equal to 13579, as you can see down here. I want to find out what is in the 2th 
uh, index of A. So that 0, 1, 2, I should get a 5 back. And I do. Hmm. That's wonderful. But I don't think that's going to help me. I think I better change that to A is equal to George, Victoria, and River. Yes. That's right. What is in A? Three things. George, Victoria, and River. Oh, I made a mistake. I want to set a different value into one of those items. Really? What are you talking about? Could you be more specific? Okay, I will. You know that list? A? Yes. That says George, Victoria, and River? Yes. You know the two-with element? Let's see. Zero, one, two. Yeah, where it says River? Yeah. I'd like you to set another item there. I wanted to say happy, not river. George, Victoria, happy. Hit enter. Now what's in A? There we go. Well, that's, that's just amazing. Could you uh, tell me how I can get hold of that item? Sure, I'll tell you how you can get that item in the eighth array, specifically the twoth element. And that's happy. Could you set that equal to a value? Sure could. Get the item in A, specifically the twoth element, set it into the variable X. And X now has happy in it. Wow. What's in A? George, Victoria, and happy. Oh, I want to delete the item in A, specifically the, the twoth index. And it's now gone. Huh. I've made a mistake. I shouldn't have done this. Let's uh, take A and uh, let's append the item uh, super dash happy onto the end of this. That would be nice. A, and there we go. George Victoria, super happy. So in summary, we went over the or underscore function, the power function, the is underscore function, the id function, the is under not function. We also went over set item, get item, and delete item. And we also took the array. In this case, it was a, as you can see down here. And we appended another value onto the end of that array. This is George Bull. I hope this video was helpful, and good luck.